So what's it really like being a professional dancer in the entertainment industry? Well, we're going to talk about just that in this video. Let's go. Hey guys, what up? It's iDestiny. Welcome back. And this is the LA Lifestyle on a budget, giving you skincare, thriftware, and entertainment industry tips and tricks just like today. So if that's what you're into, hit the subscribe button below. So... As those of you know, I kind of started kind of a mini series a couple of weeks ago, just kind of interviewing a lot of the connects that I have in the industry and asking them kind of what are their significant moments in the industry, just to give some of you guys some inspo. So I actually get quite a few questions and uh, DMs from you guys on a regular basis asking questions. How do you get into music videos? How do you find auditions? What's it like being a professional dancer in the industry? What's it like being a model? All these kind of different questions. So I thought I'd kind of pull from my industry Rolodex and have you guys hear from them um, along with me as well. So if you guys want to go back and see I think it was last week's video or the week before that on acting um, I'm gonna go ahead and link that up here for you guys to check out and also we are almost at 5k on this channel so make sure you guys subscribe because I'll be doing a huge giveaway and announcing more on that in a couple of weeks or as we get closer to 5k but today in particular we're gonna be talking about being a professional dancer in the industry so this is actually a very broad and large category uh, depending on your level of training depending on the genre of dance that you do depending on the type of productions that you're part of you could be a you know a stage or kind of cabaret dancer you could be a professional ballet dancer you could be um, somebody who does uh, mostly backup dancing for big artists and you go on tours and things like that so uh, this kind of encompasses a lot of different things that some of you might be interested in so I'm gonna go ahead and kind of tell you guys my significant moment and then I'm gonna let you guys hear from my peeps because they have some super super dope stories um, they've been doing amazing projects as well so for me one of my significant moments was when I was 12 years old so I had you know been dancing pretty much my whole life I had been in and out of classes my mom was a dance teacher and so I remember an agent calling my mom and just asking her and was like hey you know we need somebody who can jump on stage that has a gymnastics background that also kind of has like a, a afro hip-hop background that can really jump on stage and freestyle and you know do some cartwheels do some you know flips whatever and um, she's like you know I've been looking around I can't find anybody this is super last minute but you know the show is this week and so my mom was like well my daughter can do it and so she was like great I want to meet with her so I remember going to this woman's house and I was super super nervous and she kind of like looked me up and down and was like okay so you know what can you do exactly and I was like uh, okay, I can do like a back walkover, I could do like round off, and I'm like naming like all like the little flips and stuff that I've, I've learned how to do over the years because I, I did take gymnastics for a couple years. She was like, okay, great, well I'm gonna have you, you know, meet the artist tomorrow, um, and you guys are gonna be dancing on set, and I'm like, okay, cool. So, turns out, <laughs> the artist was actually speech from Arrested Development, so for those of you that know, some of you that are a little bit older in the millennial and an older crowd you guys know that Rusted Development was a rap group that was like in the late 80s 90s like mid 90s ish but they were doing kind of like a reunion concert at the Hollywood Bowl so one of my significant moments was actually getting this gig and going to the Hollywood Bowl and being like one of the primary dancers on stage so it was really really cool one of the things that I would just say to you guys is just you know just go for it even if you might be nervous you know random roles might pop up and somebody might say hey you know we need somebody now just say yes if they decide they don't want you let that be their choice but at least you know that you tried so uh, never be afraid of that but let me go ahead and jump into these other amazing dancers stories so that you guys can get a little bit of inspo uh, while in quarantine working on your craft the first performance experience that really changed my life was this show called me and my bodyguard that I did way back when I still lived in Finland and before that show I mainly just worked as a dancer but in that show I also got to do some backup singing and acting parts as well so that show kind of really secured my decision that I wanted to do more than just dancing I also wanted to act and I wanted to sing so after the show was done I ended up studying musical theater in New York City and today I work as an actor and a dancer in Los Angeles Hey guys, what's up? My name is Day Day. I'm a professional dancer and I've been dancing for a little over a decade now. Um, some advice that I would give some up and coming dancers would be um, really hone in on your foundation and your training. I think it's one of the best tools to try to know as many styles as you can, but not only just dance styles, try to learn different time periods of dance, um, you know, with the greats like uh, Ginger Rogers, Fred Astaire, the Nicholas Brothers, uh, Bob Fosse, um, and you know, so, so many more. Those things will definitely be a great, great tool for you to take on your, your working journey as a professional dancer, and uh, you'll know where moves come from, 
from and the foundation of them. If you are a hip hop dancer and you love street styles, take ballet, take contemporary, take uh, modern, take, take things that are completely out of your element so you can equip yourself with these weapons so when you get out on that battlefield and you're working for the greats like, you know, Nappy Tabs or Hi-Hat or, you know, a Tice Diorio, Gil Doldalau, um, you'll have at least a, a good knowledge of how to execute not only their style, the actual style of what they're giving you, um, but also your style and your personality within that as well, too, if that makes sense. As well as I would also say be patient. Be humble. The jobs and the things are going to come, but, you know, if you're in this business to simply just do it for accolades and things like that, baby, you're not going to last very long. <laughs> this is something you have to love. And, and don't get me wrong, it has some beautiful moments. I have, I mean, traveled the world thanks to entertainment and, you know, my, my love for dance and my, you know, appreciation and dedication to my craft. But it is, it, it can get quite cutthroat out here and it can leave you a little scarred and things like that so you really have to know who you are and keep yourself surrounded with people that you know are like-minded and grounded in the same way and have the same um, drive I say you know if this is something you want to do just stick with it stick with it there there's there's gonna be some uh, some crappy lows and things like that just because that's life but there will be some amazing 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 highs so um, just love it all right guys well hopefully you found some amazing inspo from these stories some of these uh, dancers are teaching classes or will be in the near coming future so make sure to check out the description box I have their IG's and info all linked below and thank you guys so much for watching but like this video if you want to see more I'll be posting more as usual oh and also, if you guys want to see any one-on-one -on -one interviews, extended interviews with some of these people, comment below. Let me know who you guys want to see. But like this video if you want to see more. I'll be posting more as usual. Make sure to do well and be well, and I'll see you later. Bye.